Alrighty, y'all. How you going? We're looking at uh, a convoy for kids, Sydney 2023 at the Hawkesbury Showground in New South Wales. I am told that this is an amazing variety of trucks, emergency vehicles, kind of a little bit of just everything uh, that you can see in Australia in this kind of motorcade or parade. It sounds like a blast to me. Let's get straight into it. This was suggested on Discord by Bruce K. Train, and this comes to us from the channel, his channel, Bruce K. Train, Train Spotting. It's be linked in the description down below. It's a long video uh, that I'll try and feature a lot of here, but of course, not all of it. Make sure you use that link down there. Uh, watch this whole video and, of course, browse his channel. Uh, I will be watching the whole thing, what I don't see here uh, off camera later on for sure. Let's go. I think this... This is going to be a fun one. First of all, whoa, whoa. Let me stop myself. You know, I always love seeing new vehicles. This Isuzu, um, which I do love that brand. We used to have them in the U.S. and they pulled out unless, although technically they do sell like commercial trucks here, but they used to have passenger vehicles like this and they don't anymore. Uh, but they're pretty cool. I know they're very popular in Australia and this one is, uh, I like it. It's kind of neat. I don't know what it is. Oh my God, and look at this ute. <laughs> See, I think this is gonna be a good show. I don't I don't know what to expect. Just a lot of unique vehicles uh, like that. Oh my God, beautiful Holden. Damn, this is funny. Look at these like small, like mini box trucks. That's actually pretty neat. We have box trucks, of course, in the U.S. like that I've seen, but they're usually just a little bigger than this, right? Based on like full size pickup trucks or even bigger. This is kind of kind of cool. That is a Isuzu as well. <laughs> and look at this. We even got an old Tri Five Chevy or something of the like. Very cool. Toyota, looks like a Hilux, yeah? Then a Land Cruiser, oh yeah. The forbidden fruit, I always say. One of the coolest vehicles ever that uh, we miss out on big time. Of course, we sit, we have these uh, Eveco box trucks here. These are cool. Just further proof that Australia gets everything. They get Euro stuff, they get Aussie stuff, they get American stuff, they, get, they just get it all. They get Japanese stuff. Look at this Doth too. <laughs> the variety is just off the charts in Australia, man. That is so cool. Look at even this thing. What is this? I don't even know. Oh, it's a Volvo. Okay, I didn't see the uh, logo. Very cool. Now that one I certainly do not know. There you go. They they uh have so many vehicles there that there's still vehicles that I don't recognize or know about, which blows my mind. <laughs> now, Mitsubishi Fusos are rare here, but we do have those in the U.S. They're just on the, on the rare side a little bit. We also have Hino, which I always reference. I stated that we didn't have a long time ago because I didn't recognize it, but then after I said that, I have seen these on the road. Uh, in the U.S. Probably. So we do have Hinos. <laughs> Hear the horns of blaring. Love it. Look at this. Juiced up Mercedes. Wow. What is that? That's kind of cool. Another one too. These are these are uh, really jazzed up. <laughs> Look at all these in a row. Very cool. Doffs, Mercedes Benz. They're part of the same group, I suppose. Yeah. Winston Express, it says. Very sharp. Even a uh, Kenworth, it looks like, or a couple. Aren't those badass? Those are super cool, right? 
And even further along, we have more from the Winston Express. Some uh, conventional or long nose trucks. Look at this, Cummins equipped Kenworth looks amazing. These are the Aussie style trucks, which I freaking love. And is sort of similar to American style trucks, but different. Quite frankly, these are just so rugged and uh, top looking. Very cool uh, flat nose Kenworth as well, or cab over. And they have Scandias. Oh my God, <laughs> dude. What a cool selection so far. We are like barely into this video. Another beautiful red Scania. Look at these all blues. These Star Trek trucks. Isuzu's, Fuso's. Whatever this brand is behind. But uh, all with this very bright sky blue paint from front to back. Kind of cool seeing a convoy like that, right? And look at this at the end. By the way, that, that convoy was pretty long. Look at this. We have a Ford. Now, that's some um, I don't see every day. <laughs> you don't see many Ford commercial trucks, which is weird. They're all smaller. Like, there is Ford commercial trucks and work trucks and stuff. But we're talking smaller chassis, right? Like, Ford semis, as far as I know, are not a thing, at least modern ones. You know, you might see old Ford dump trucks or some sort of Ford huge, like, big rig style trucks. Uh, rarely, but they're going to be really old, I think. This, you know, seeing the Ford Blue Oval on a semi-truck like this, it's just not a common sight, at least uh, here in the U.S., as far as I know, right? I, I don't associate them with semi-trucks usually. So seeing that is actually pretty cool. I mean, look at that thing. <laughs> Even that's bizarre. We have some flatbeds, which look small in comparison to that big truck we just saw. Ooh, and an uh, old fire truck. Looks older anyway, I think it is. And I have no idea what maker and model it is, but it's cool to see. The red and white with the red wheels, gotta love it. It's a classic. Also notice the huge um, lights, light fixtures there. Really cool with the spinning, the rotating. Speaking of dump trucks, we have some sort of haulers or, or dump trucks here. These things are beasts. They sound like it too. <laughs> that one sounds good. So does that one. When the hell are we getting an Australian truck simulator game? Come on. Come on, somebody. Make one. We have Johnston's here with a cool looking fleet. Look at the Mack trucks. These are neat. They have like a sort of a very interesting like teal greenish color. Very unique shade of, of green. And uh, with red, wheel arches, very interesting. We even have Volvos, and it uh, looks like a Veco's back there too. Moving forward again, we have Windsor Bus Charters. Now this is something I did not expect. This is truly an amazing show. Can we first appreciate the filming? Great film work, very steady, very clear, awesome audio. Great job by Bruce K, train spotting here. I mean, this is super cool. And uh, to submit this on his own on Discord, I, I'm just honored. I mean, this is super cool. I love helping out smaller channels. You know, like I said, please go blow up his channel. Check it out and, uh, you know, tell him I sent you. Uh, I really like this video and, and we're skipping around. You know, you got to watch the whole thing with the link on his uh, on his channel. This is so cool. The variety. I love seeing shows like this with this much variety. I mean, look at all these different buses. That's a Mercedes bus. Even these buses are different than what I see in the US. It's fascinating seeing stuff in Europe, seeing stuff in Australia. It's just, it's so cool, the differences. Look at this old bus. This is interesting. Wow. I have no idea who makes this. Uh, you lo gotta love seeing like the analog 
uh, stuff up here, like the number and, you know, where the stops are. You get an interesting window design and, and the different doors. They just had a look to them. Very uh, retro in, in a cool way. Here we have a newer, uh, presumably newer, <laughs> Mercedes. Ooh, and look at this flatbed truck. This is older as well. International, is that right? I don't know, but it's kind of cool, isn't it? And a Land Cruiser, nice. Is that the fire service? It is, New South Wales. Beautiful big trucks, I've seen these before. Those are very nice as well. Yeah, but I love the Land Cruisers. Such a good emergency vehicle, work vehicle, you know, whatever you want to kit it out as. I mean, what a great platform. We're missing, we're missing out big time in the US with these, I'm telling you what. Look at this, even a Western Star. I, I forgot that uh, Western Star is in Australia. You know, some, some trucks, I don't know what markets they're in. That is really cool that they are. Uh, Again, the, the variety of brands is, is truly mind-blowing, right? You guys have so much more brands if you add them all up than we would have here in the U.S. This one, I believe, says Ford, doesn't it? I think it does. <laughs> How cool. Look at these bright white and red Lindsay Transport trucks. Nice variety in this convoy as well. Look at this, we even have some old army vehicles. How cool is that? We have some old uh, Willys Jeeps or, or something similar. Especially these ones right here. Royal Australian Air Force, how neat. And then what is this green, the darker green behind these? Right here, if you can see my mouse cursor. What is that? Is that a Jeep? I don't know if it is. I'm almost gonna lean towards, no, it's not, but it might be. I'm, I'm not like a super classic Jeep, you know, expert by any means. This is a cool truck. I have no idea what it is. We have an old Mac back here. See, the old army trucks are always cool, man, from any country. I, I think they're just fascinating. I mean, who doesn't love tough and brute military trucks, right? These things are made to, uh, made to work, man. That's very cool. And I believe we even have some Unamogs over here. Yo, Australia has got everything cool, man. That is definitely an Unamog, right? Or two or three. <laughs> oh, I love seeing that, man. Very cool seeing it in the camo as well. Well, that's going to do it for this. This was a look at uh, the Convoy Sydney 2023 at the Hawkesbury Showground. What an amazing show. We skipped around a lot. So there's a lot of cool stuff that you can check out with that original link. Thank you so much for that suggestion. Uh, you guys know uh, that I really love doing videos on, you know, different car shows, truck shows, seeing a variety of vehicles like this in, you know, a sort of uh, moving parade type uh, environment is really, really fun to see. Amazing variety of vehicles as to be expected at this point. That's what I always expect out of any sort of show like this in Australia. The market there is just mind blowing because there's so many different styles of vehicles, so many different brands, different versions of stuff. It, it, it's so unique and uh, so Australian. You guys know this by now, but just to reiterate, you guys have an amazing market for vehicles, big and small. One of the most fascinating places in the world uh, to be a gearhead of any sort. It really is. Throw a like on there if you enjoyed this. Uh, subscribe to be part of this amazing community we do have here. I uh, would love to hear your comments uh, down below or and ideas of anything similar to this. Maybe you were able to attend this. This looks like an amazing time in person for sure. Click that join button to become a member for super cheap. And that's going to do it for this one, guys. My name is Ian. You're watching IW Rocker. And until next time, y'all, happy new year, by the way, to everybody. Should have mentioned that at the beginning. Uh, I'll catch you later.